You know, every year over 1,000 uh, very diverse community members gather to recommit themselves to honoring Dr. King's teaching of a more inclusive democracy and to really embrace Dr. King's vision of a beloved community. The 34th celebration will take place virtually uh, next Monday, January 17th. And I think it's appropriate we take a moment and, and reflect on, on the significance of the Martin Luther King Day national holiday. Making Martin Luther King an official uh, California holiday did not occur until 1982. And the efforts that the federal government took until 1986, almost two decades uh, after his death, it was decided a breakfast celebration would be one way everyone could do to guarantee a moment to reflect, memorialize, and honor the life and legacy of Dr. King, uh, while continuing to highlight the efforts that he pushed for, both social and economic disparities uh, in San Diego's communities of color. And this first annual celebration was held in 1988. It was in a local church. Uh, it was modestly attended, but it was a start. And in the years since that first breakfast, the celebration uh, has had several different organizers, the City of San Diego Human Relations Commission and their executive director, Ashley Walker, uh, organized the gatherings in the early 2000s. And then around 2008, she asked the newly formed Alliance San Diego to create a permanent home, permanent organizing entity uh, and permanent structure to make sure that the celebration went off every year and continued to grow and have impact in Alliance San Diego. Uh, has done just that. They've been organizing this event since 2009. Uh, they have turned it into a dynamic uh, celebration, memorial, a motivating event, a moment where people can reflect and recommit themselves to the work ahead. 